Episode 105, Thyroid, Goiter, and Iodine. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging, covering treatment and solutions that include bioidentical hormone pellet therapy, safe and affordable skin rejuvenation, and spa quality botanical skincare. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. So you just got back from a medical conference in Chicago. Yes. And one of the things that you said uh, when you got back was, oh my God, we live in a <laughs> the goiter, goiter belt. sink. The, the goiter, goiter belt. belt. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, first well, of all, what's a goiter? Okay, and a, go a goiter. Why does it have a belt? <laughs> A goiter is a large thyroid. Okay. Okay. So, so you, you see can, these people that have like a swollen like, ball of flesh. But it's usually down here on top of the. Uh -huh. on top like a bullfrog. Of, yeah. Yeah. Right there, but it's not a double chin. It's a double low low roll here, yeah. Yeah. or just a big lump. Yeah. A goiter, a goiter was uh, paraphrased a long time ago when they didn't really get the fact that goiters were thyroid. Okay. okay, so this is your thyroid, and when your thyroid is overactive or underactive, then your thyroid gets large. If you don't feed it enough of what it needs, right. like iodine, it gets big. So okay. any place in the world that used to be an ocean, okay, had kelp in water over it, has then iodine in the soil. Mm -hmm. But in the Midwest all the way up through Canada, all the way down to Texas and Louisiana. We, I guess you could call that the South, but in the Midwest, we don't have iodine in our soil or our water. So iodine, we're iodine to deprived. If we did blood tests on everyone, we would find that we all have low iodine. Okay. It's almost something you can assume in our area because there was no inland ocean here. Right. So this is, we did get a scraping from, from the um, from the different ice ages and stuff. Right. We got that, but that wasn't salt water. Wasn't salt water. Yeah. So salt I grew water, up in Central Arkansas, which is right where the curve was for the Gulf of Mexico coming north. Right. In the so old. So part of the some Arkansans mm -hmm. have it and some don't. That's right. I remember my favorite thing when I was a kid was taking the World Book and yeah. using those transparency yeah. and see oh, yeah. where the, the overlays. ocean was and where it wasn't and who but we they didn't were have really a goiter overlay <laughs> well you know you're right yeah no no, no but of, so but, so it's so a real issue means either that your thyroid for one reason or another is not functioning but the oh. most common reason is that you don't have enough iodine in your diet so we used to supplement in salt but there's, there's iodized salt, like Morton salt, but it's not an iodine form that we can readily use. Okay. So we don't eat much salt. And if you eat sea salt, you get a little, but not enough. Okay. So it's very hard to get enough iodine in your diet. So we supplement. Now... Yeah, because I'm not supposed to have salt because of a blood pressure right, issue. Right, right. We tell That's everybody, no salt, no salt. Stay away from salt, no stay salt. away from caffeine, stay yeah. away from... Yeah, and so we now don't have iodine. And we used to put iodine... In our, um, we supplemented, we enriched our flour. Okay. And it was in flour. Now yeah. we're telling people not to eat flour or wheat, <laughs> but we don't enrich it always either. So all of the methods of replacing iodine are methods that we that don't apply to us nowadays. And those of us who live in this area are having more and more thyroid disease, and part of it has to do with needing iodine. Now it doesn't mean everybody who has low thyroid just needs some iodine. If you have low thyroid and you have all the symptoms of it, you need iodine and your thyroid medication because they work together. So is that iodine and iodide? Yes, that... iodine and iodide is the form that you can absorb. And there's one particular formulation called iodorol. It's inexpensive. Iodorol. It's an inexpensive. It comes in 12.5 milligrams. So we usually give one or two mm -hmm. of those to, depending on how low the iodine level is, to supplement. But most of us should take about six months of double dose just to get our stores built back up and then maintain it with the 12.5 daily. 
So, so if, because in today's commercial world, so many of our fruits and vegetables are imported from other places. Mm -hmm. If your uh, fresh foods are coming from places like Argentina or Chile or Florida, Mm -hmm. Does that compensate for the problem? You would think it would, but it doesn't. It's just not enough. It's not enough. And it's not in our water. And then we do something else to our okay. water. We, where you would normally have iodine from the ground, mm -hmm. in groundwater, we actually put in chlorine and fluorine, yes. fluoride, excuse me, right. into our water. Fluoride for our teeth, chlorine to kill all the bacteria. Well, those are two chemicals, and they're chemicals, they're not nutrients, right. that kick iodine off of our thyroid molecule. Wow. They take the place of it. It's, they act as a heavy metal. They prevent the iodine that we do take from formula, getting onto the thyroid molecule. So they take the place and they do nothing. They just prevent the activity of the thyroid. So. Those are two things we do to protect ourselves, and there's always a reaction, reaction. The reaction right. is we're it's, making it's our iodine. It's a chemistry set. It is. Yeah. So if you're going to have that in your, in your life to protect your teeth and keep your water clean, then you've got to add more iodine and overwhelm it. So should you take your it. iodorol with a glass of wine? <laughs> You should have a... I'm trying to find another reason to have a glass of wine. Yeah, well, mm, that would work. <laughs> no, that's, yeah. But that's why they always drank wine in the Bible, because the water wasn't good. Right. I mean, the, yeah, they, yeah. it got rid of the bacteria. So mm -hmm. so basically what you should do is is get a water filter, oh. like a re, you know reverse osmosis or a, or a charcoal filter, and it gets all that out. And that will help you not have issues with your thyroid? And not well, have it'll have you not have all these, me, these heavy... Well, not heavy metals, but these chemicals. Trace metals. Trace metals yeah. replacing right. your iodine. Locking. You still have to take iodine. Right. Because you're going to you're gonna. But get... the absorption is blocked by the fluoride and the chlorine. Right. So, Which is an interesting thing, be just because we're, doing, we're, tr we're improving our lives so much with these other two things. Uh -huh. And then now we have to, we have to um, go back and adjust for that. It's kind of like... There's, there's a plant called the give and take plant. Mm -hmm. the, the top of the plant is, it's in South America. And the top of the plant actually um, stings you. <laughs> and then you have to dig up the root, cut it up, and get the sap out of it. And you put it on and it fixes it. I always feel like we're doing that with wow. our environment. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, in, in all the structures that or all the things that we were blessed with, you know, that God gave us, that we do kind of have an answer for every problem. But here we've made our own problem. Now we have to find an answer. And the answer is to take iodine in this case. So that what should help us prevent thyroid disease, improve our metabolism, help us lose weight. But there's one other really important thing about iodine. Iodine is much more important to women than men because iodine is stored in the breasts. And since you guys don't have them, we need a, the people with the largest breasts need more. the most iodine. Right. Because we store it there. If you don't have enough, right. not only does your thyroid malfunction, but you get breast cysts, breast tenderness, and you can get, I mean, it can set you up for breast cancer. Okay. So iodine is very important to the breasts. We watch... We watch the um, children as they're as they're growing, doing iodine levels. All of a sudden, women become iodine deficient at about 12 when their breasts develop mm -hmm. because it's all here. It's all been sucked into the yeah. breast. Yeah, and so the rest of their body is not getting any, and that's one of the most common times for young women to get hypothyroid, low thyroid, okay. because they don't have enough iodine. So hypothyroidism is low. Is thyroid. low. But you still have a big goiter. Uh-huh. And, and the signs of hypothyroid that you would look at as a physician. I mean, as I know physician, there are blood tests that you can right. do. There's hair loss all over your head, okay? Mm -hmm. Hair loss all over your body. In okay. other words, you wouldn't be shaving your legs as much. You wouldn't, mm -hmm. be, you wouldn't have to worry about plucking your eyebrows as much. Eyebrow loss in the lateral out, outside here, when you lose eyebrow hair here, that's a low thyroid. And that's for male or female? I mean, yes. you, you were saying that women need it more because of the breast tissue issue. Right, but, but these symptoms are But this are is free. symptoms of okay. low thyroid in both male and female. Men don't get it as often. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons is the iodine issue. Now, other things that you can, 
uh, see with thyroid disease is you can see if you stick your tongue out, tooth marks all around the outside of your tongue because your tongue swells. I sometimes okay. have people stick their tongue out for me. Um, huh. Is that weight gain, uh, exhaustion, fatigue, depression, high cholesterol, slow movement of the intestines, swelling all over, all over swelling like hands, feet, legs, just swelling, swelling around the face, big swelling around here and swelling above your eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, you can kind of see that or just getting a, a wider face. That's all thyroid. Okay. Thyroid affects everything. So it's very important to look for those things. Some of those things cross over with other hormones. But if you've got a goiter and some of those symptoms, I think it's pretty obvious. You need iodine right. and you need thyroid. Okay. I used to catch better than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's the difference when you say iodine and thyroid? The, the iodine complements something that comes out of the thyroid? The iodine activates the thyroid. Okay. Okay, so... So it's like putting gas in the car. Right. Yeah. And right. then the engine runs mm -hmm. because you have the iodine. Right. And then the thyroid does what? And the thyroid is what... Um, regulates affects, body temperature? Regulates everything. It re re regulates how you absorb food. It regulates uh, whether you lose or gain weight, how you use your, your fluids. Mm -hmm. It... Um, if you don't have enough, it maintains fluids in your tissues instead of in your bloodstream. Okay. It, you'll have a low heart rate, so it regulates the heart rate as well. So if you have a very low heart rate, low blood pressure, that's another sign and another function of thyroid. Okay, so, so but these signs are not automatically uh, exclusive. You know, like if your ankles are swelling and you're having fluid retention. No, if you have one of them, that's different, but if you have all of them, yes. then you can test the thyroid and the iodine. Now, if you test the thyroid, sometimes with the scale that we have, we've talked about this before, mm -hmm. and especially in women, the thyroid normals that are on your lab sheet are normal for men, and men and women have different normals. Right. And they should update these, but they haven't. So the normal TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, mm -hmm. goes up when your thyroid's low. So if it's above 2.5, then your thyroid's low, and you need to have thyroid replace, replacement, okay? To make that thyroid re replacement work, you need iodine. So you need to take both. Mm -hmm. Now, iodine is in kelp, seaweed. Some people can take enough kelp in a day, believe it or not, to get their iodine. Well, well would you have to eat like six yeah. ounces of kelp oh, or half a pound eat. of kelp? or? I don't, it depends on the kelp. They're yeah, all a little different. They're all different. Okay. There's some dried kelp that you can get, and it'll tell you exactly how many milligrams are in each dried I'm, kelp. We, I'm laughing because I've my, been eating those. I but. remember before my dad passed away, we'd, we'd go to dinner to some semi nice restaurant, you know, something like yeah? Ponderosa. <laughs> uh, and they would put a little piece of decorative greenery on the plate, mm -hmm. and he would always take it and say, I don't do kelp. I don't do kelp. <laughs> uh, perhaps he should have. He's, perhaps he should have. <laughs> So, I mean, I, you know, iodine in the kelp also works on our hearts and our brains. Mm -hmm. I mean, it keeps us thinking clearly. And, I mean, just consider all of the people who just don't feel well. And when we check them, they're fine, but we're not checking their iodine. Okay. And so if we could touch all of those people, especially in the Midwest, and the Midwest is a bastion of obesity. It may be that their oh thyroids... Oh, my God, can you say that again? A bastion of, of obesity. obesity. And oh. so that's... That's important. I mean, we need to we need to get this. There out. are more fat old smokers than there are fat old doctors. There's a lot of fat old doctors, <laughs> and I mean smoking. But, All of these things. But we're set up. Yeah. I mean, we're set up from the minute we drink our water and we eat our food. We think we're doing healthy things, but we're missing some things. I think that the government's going to turn its attention away from vitamin D, which it's already decided everybody needs vitamin D. Right to iodine, iodine next to prevent this is all preventive medicine let's prevent all of those things we just discussed all those symptoms that take away your energy and your productivity well, what's amazing about that is, is you have all these pockets of information that that somebody specialized has mm -hmm. and and you start with the premise that the soil in the midwest which is the food basket for the world mm -hmm. doesn't have the iodine, iodine. And because it was never under the sea and it didn't get saturated with sea salt. Mm -hmm. And so 
what we are raising to feed us and other countries doesn't have the amount of iodine that it needs. But mm -hmm. people who don't know that or don't attend to that or don't even calculate that that matters, they may know it, like, mm -hmm. oh, well, those, those are not connected. Then look at you and, and, or someone similar to you that's coming out and saying, wait a minute, guys, we need to do something about the fluoride or the chlorine. We're using those for reasons X and Y, but reasons Z we're ignoring. Right. And so we need to do those, but mm -hmm. we also need to take care of reason Z, which is a deficiency of iodine. Right. We need to look at the implications of what we're doing to make our lives better. Well, who has time to do all well, that? Well, the government's supposed to be doing that. Well, there you go. So I think they should, we all know about vitamin D, or most of us who read or listen to YouTube or mm -hmm. read the paper or listen to TV. But we don't know about iodine. I think that should be their next interest. I mean, that would save them tons of money if, if government's paying for health care. Just think how much that would save so, all of us. So you said somebody has hypothyroidism. Mm -hmm. and their TSH goes up. And so that's like the warning light on the dashboard that says your, your tire pressure is low. Right. But how do you know your TSH has gone up? You have all those symptoms that your, you mentioned about hair doctor loss has and eyebrows. To, the doctor has to see the signs and the symptoms. It would be nice if you want to make it easy for your doctor, write down the signs of symptoms on a piece mm -hmm. of paper and hand so it to him and this, say, this, yeah. okay, so these are my symptoms. Right. And I think I might have low thyroid. Would you check it? And I know that the women's normals are different than men's normals. Mm. And while you're doing that, could you throw in an iodine? And if they're listening, <laughs> yeah. then they should be able to take your information, look at it, and decide that, yes, there's something wrong and I need to do something about it. If they deny, if they, you know, they say, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. Just, you know, you're fine. Yeah. And you know these things. Right then you need to go see somebody else. Do you have In America, have, we can go to a different doctor if we don't like the answer do that we got for the last one. you have to have a prescription one. to get iodine no, supplement? it's over the counter. You can just go over the counter right. and get it. You do it yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a supplement. Yeah. Now, well, I, so, so now one, one or two is fine. Five is not good. Just because I think one or two is okay, this is not a drug you can just like triple because cause if you go too high, you shut the thyroid down. There's a perfect amount, okay? So just because, you know, some people obsess and they obsess so much they take too mm. much. So that doesn't work with this kind of supplement. So as Ben Franklin said, it's all about moderation in all things except moderation. <laughs> That's right, even he with did. iodine. Ben said a lot of stuff. Yeah, he so, did. so you were talking about hypothyroidism. Yes, low thyroid. What does, uh, what's the relevance of iodine to hyperthyroidism? Is, is there any at all? Well, if somebody has hyperthyroidism mm -hmm. and we want to calm it down, mm -hmm. we give them very high doses of iodine. Because it shuts it off. Yes, it shuts it down. Okay, so the iodine is critical on either end of the spectrum. That's right. All right. So again, we're back to the question of being an informed consumer. We're back to the idea that you there are checklist symptoms and perhaps we can post them on the, on the mm -hmm. podcast. Uh, that you can check, that you can go to your physician and say, I'm, I'm suffering from all these things and I'm wondering if it has to do with my thyroid, can you test me? And if you're female, you might want to mention to your doctor that, that you, you have know, really big breasts and so you know you're low on thyroid, on, on iodine. <laughs> See, well, I'm Well, I was going to say it. That the normals are different. They are. Yeah, for men and women. The, the lab test standards that come back to the doctor and say, alert, the, what's considered normal for thyroid is normed for men Mm -hmm. And not, not for, women. for women. So that's right. We've known that for 16 it, years, but they still they won't still don't embrace update it. the lab sheets. Right. They still won't embrace it, except in California. Yeah. They do in California, and I'm not sure why. Huh. So maybe they're ahead of us. Have they ever had a woman governor in California? No. Oh, okay. That wouldn't be it. <laughs> Just thinking. Just thinking. Just thinking. So, um, so you need to know. You need to ask for an iodine level, mm -hmm. and you need to ask for a thyroid if you have these symptoms. And that's what we would advise you first. Go and talk to your physician. Go and get an assessment. Have a blood test done. And see if the, the data says you're low. Mm -hmm. Then if your doctor is totally non-responsive, non-receptive, consider changing doctors. Or consider an over-the-counter over iodine supplement. Mm -hmm. But be wary of how much you take. Right. Take, take the recommended dose. A, l a little learning is a dangerous thing. Well, just non-moderation after you learn it and going over the top doesn't make it better. Yeah. <laughs> it just it just goes over the top and then you get into some other problems. So, so there's it's not 
uh, an easy panacea, you know, one, one size fits all answer. But it is an alert. And especially if you live in the Midwest, it's an alert that you need to be aware of because we are in a goiter sink. Mm -hmm. uh, goiter belt, actually. Goiter belt because mm -hmm. we don't naturally have access to the iodine. So we have to supplement it. Thank you. Thank you. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. Follow Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Brett Newcomb can be found at brettnewcomb.com.